the graduated income tax system, think of it like a layer cake, okay? Now for every single US worker, and I'm saying worker because we're talking about labor specifically here, okay? So every US worker gets an initial chunk of their income on the layer cake free, tax-free, okay? Um, up to, if you are single and you earn up to $11,000, your first $11,000 is taxed at a rate of zero. Zero, nothing, no tax, okay? And that goes up, that gets doubled basically if you're married filing jointly, somewhere in the middle if you're head of household. Your next slice of income is taxed at the next rate, okay? So over $11,000, you pay a tax of 10% on all income over your first $11,000. Now, what's interesting is you might be a mega earner. Let's say you earn $600,000 a year. Your first $11,000 is still taxed at a rate of zero, right? A person who earns $12,000 for a year, which is you know a dramatically lower salary, they're paying the same zero rate on that first $11,000, right? So both people, the wealthy person and the impoverished person, these two people both, are paying zero on their first $11,000 of income, right? Now that person who only earns 12,000 a year has a thousand more dollars and that $1,000 is taxed at the next tax rate, 10%, okay? Now 10% of $1,000 is $100. So on $12,000 of earning, that's $100 of tax, right? It's not that much, <laughs> right? Most of that person's income is not taxed. Okay. And this is how we give a bigger benefit to a person who has less amount of dollars, which is very important because people who have lower incomes spend a far greater percentage of their money, usually close to 100% of it, on the basic necessities. They need every single dollar to pay for shelter, food, clothing, et cetera.